Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualized NZ and it's time for week five of the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner. Ooh, I wanted to use this image and then I turned it over and noticed these beautiful watercolor books here. Ooh, dilemma. Oh dear, let's tear it out to begin with. I do love those books. Shall we collage on it anyway and hope that uh, the following week's one has something where we can use those? And that's a bit of a risk, but oh, it's just so pretty. I don't want to lose that. It would, I could get the bottom of the image. Okay. Okay, first, while I'm thinking, I'm just going to trim down the side. So I was going to use this whole page as the base for my collage. And this would be for meeting the prompt of a sand or stone. So this leopard or cheetah, I'm not sure which. This big cat is standing on this big outcrop of rock. So I thought that would hit that prompt. Um, but I did not check what was on the other side of the page. Oops, so now I do have a dilemma. What do I want to do? Hmm. Okay, trim it down while I'm still thinking. So, how is everyone today? I hope you're good. I hope you're not uh, thrown into sudden dilemmas of which way to jump like I am. That'll teach me for not... I normally do check both sides of a page because I, you know... Um, when I'm dealing with magazines, I want to check that I'm not sacrificing something I prefer. And I kind of do prefer this. But if I trim it off, look, I'm, I think I'm not going to be happy unless I save it. So I'm going to trim it off. And then we'll work out what to do. So I want to bring it just under the image uh, so I don't chop off the cheetah or the leopard or the big cat let's just go big cat because I'm not sure I know there's a way to tell them apart but off the top of my head I couldn't tell you what it is so big cat so we could just go with a page this size or we could stick it onto something else um, which I do not have prepared because I was going to use this I'm just grabbing out a bit of um, coloured copy paper because it was just sitting behind me. So we could do it on like that. Probably want to cut off those white bits now since the plan has changed. So let's just get rid of those. So I'll go over the prompts in a minute. Um, I just kind of threw myself into a bit of a tailspin with this this so I just need to deal with it so I'm sort of know how to move on with the rest of the prompts right so let's go with doing it on this bit of yellow copy paper yellow why yellow I don't know just because it was behind me um, but it's not bad, it gives it a frame. So the prompts, we have a toy or doll. Um, so I have got out this uh, craft magazine here and it's got a few different dolls and teddy bears and things in it. Um, but I particularly like this one I think. So that's doll, sand or stone, so that's what our big cat is standing on. Something cold. I've got a few options. I've got this um, lovely fruity punch drink here, or I've got a salad. Um, that's all I could really find for cold. It's, yeah, a couple of snowy scenes, but they didn't really gel with my big cat image. So perhaps one of those or both even. Um, clock or time. So I had this one already cut out, and then I come across this one that's sitting on top of books. Clock. So either of those, or again, maybe both. Um, photo, so I've grabbed out a couple of 
old photos um, from a cat I had back when I was first married. Um, my first husband and I went to the SPCA and this little tabby cat, um, she had some hormonal issues and things, but we, we picked her up and brought her home and she was just a darling wee thing. And then after my first husband passed away, um, he had a, a good quality camera, a digit, not a digital, a film SLR, and I was playing around with it after he passed away. So I took some black and white photos of Puddy. Her name was Puddy, P-U-D-I. And I thought maybe one of those might, might work. So that's going to be my photo element. And then the bonus this for week five is something that came in the mail. So I've got these, oops, I should, um, should cover that. I'll cover that. Um, I bought these catalogues online on an auction and she sent me a whole bunch and then she sent me lots more and uh, postal stamp catalogues and I thought maybe I'd use the stamps that and she sent me all the original envelopes that they received them in that have got the stamps on I thought maybe I'd use these and then I was looking through this and I thought there's this really cool old envelope here from 1917 I think so it's just a, a picture of it but I thought that might be fun to use instead so just try not to show that address on the back oh sorry on the front of the envelope um because that's probably not the good thing to do okay so there is a bit of fussy cutting to do let's just get into it first I think I'll start with my big elements to see how I might want to do it to, to lay them out so there's this doll there's this one here as well, but I kind of liked this one better uh, to go with this image. And then there is a teddy bear and there's another sort of like knitted doll further on. But let's just try this one because it's the one I keep coming back to. So I've got all sorts of mess here. Right, so she has um, got this picture down below her on her skirt. So we'll just trim that right off. I should be using my big scissors for that. It'd be a lot easier. So let's just trim that off like so. And this should be quite easy to cut out. It's not very complicated. Oops. I hope you're enjoying watching me do these collages. I know it's, you know, not everybody's cup of tea. But it's only one video a week. And I might start adding in other projects onto the end. If you think that's, you know, if you'd like to stick around after the collage and watch another project. Uh, having said that, I haven't planned anything for today, so let me know. If you're not into watching collage, then you might not want me to add something on to the end because you don't want to have to go through the collage first to get to the bit that you are interested in, or maybe you like everything. So let me know either way, and then I'll know whether just to keep doing what I'm doing and doing just the collages in the video, or whether I start doing another little project I don't know, working on ephemera or something at the end. And I'm sure even if you didn't watch the video that you're not missing too much because there's lots of other ephemera videos out there in my playlist and in other people's playlists. So it's not like you have to watch every single video, is it? like this doll I think she's very lovely she's um, one of the characters out of the book Little Woman which I've never read yes I know that's so bad isn't it I have not read Little Woman and I don't know that I've even seen the TV program or movie whatever it is I know there's one out there but I don't believe I've seen that either there's so many of the classics that I'd love to read I just don't get much time to read 
I'm too busy making videos and journals and, you know, fun stuff like that. I do miss reading, though. I try to, to read, you know, a couple of times a week if I can, but just sometimes run out of time. Might have to trim a little bit off her outfit there and somehow disguise the bottom of her dress. So let's go cut out the salad. I'm just going to roughly fussy cut it. I'm not going to properly fussy cut it because there's too many little bits of twiggy, leafy, thingy bits hanging off. I will cut, include the cutlery though, just roughly. Oops, very, very roughly. Oh, and maybe we'll go around the asparagus. We won't cut the asparagus off, otherwise that's kind of meaningless, since that's the tips of the asparagus. And those wee leaves there. All right. So... How about we do the drink as well? Then we've kind of like got a complete meal, don't we? Um, apart from protein, it doesn't look like there's a lot of protein in that salad. So let's cut out our... Oh, there's jalapeno down beside the drink. That's a bit interesting. I wouldn't have thought jalapeno would go with the drink. Bit weird. And don't really go with the uh, something cold idea. Right, again, just going to roughly cut around this sprig of rosemary that's sticking out of the drink. I am enjoying making some time for collage every week, though, I must say. It's good. I, I really enjoy collage, but again, it's something I often leave for that time when I've got nothing else to do. And I've Never got, never got nothing else to do. There's always something to do. So to have it planned into my video schedule, something I'm really enjoying. And the rubbish. I should have emptied my rubbish bin before I started the video. But never mind. We could go something like that. Okay, so we need our thyme and our, she's got a book in her hand, so maybe the, the clock with the books would actually make sense in this instance. So let's cut this one out. Tell me guys, what are some things in your life that you really love doing but you find you often don't have time to do or can't make the time to do? Or do you have any tricks and tips on how to do those things, fit them into your schedule? Because when I'm doing, like if I take time out to read, I really, really enjoy it. And I, you know, usually time it with a cuppa or something so that I feel like it's a real treat. But then I kind of feel guilty that I'm not working. And I guess that's part of working for yourself when you're running a little business. That you feel like you've got to, you know, do something every moment that might create an income. Well, so far that's not working so great for me, but you know... <laughs> That's, that's the idea, is that eventually we'll get to that point. And um, so I feel guilty, you know, because my husband's the sole earner. I feel guilty if I'm not doing something that might bring in an income. And reading is just pleasure. So that kind of ties in with the book there. We could also perhaps slip in this, since we're talking about making time for reading. What do you think? I quite like that. 
Okay, now which photo of dear little putty? I think I want to trim it down. Oops, sorry about all the noise. Not paying attention to what I'm doing when I'm grabbing things. It's, it's quite a lot of wasted area in this photo. I wasn't close enough to her. Oops, causing all sorts of things to fall and clatter and bang. And we could pop her. So we've got two cats, a big cat and a little cat, and she was a little cat. So I've got all this area up here though, and it's quite a big area. Maybe we do want to go with these stamps. So I'm just going to go off camera for a minute and tear off this address so I'm not struggling to, you know, not show it. Right. So maybe we do go with these stamps and I'm thinking I don't want the cat one. I'd rather save that for something else. So tear, you know, because I love cats and I would rather put the cat stamp somewhere else. And I really want to keep that postmark. like that just trying to fold up the top of the envelope where it's been oops we do need to trim a bit off there so maybe I'll cut off that bit that was folded so I don't want to cover over our big cat there yep that's better and then I've still got this gap here. Maybe we want to move things around a little bit. We could put our dear wee putty over here maybe instead. Or, and we don't want to cover all the rock either because the rock is part of the prompts. Maybe we just want our drink. Or we could put the salad down here. I'm being persnickety, but I want to be pleased with the result. I'm quite happy with that, actually. I think that looks not too bad. Right, now I need to remember where everything goes. So... Let's start with this image here. Maybe I should have uh, glued this down to begin with anyway before I started trying to arrange stuff, but oh uh, well. Too late now. Let's just go for it. So I'm going to use tacky glue just for speed and ease, and then um, some of the other things I'll probably revert to glue stick. But these big pieces, it just saves on glue stick. You know, and this works perfectly well. Hold it all down. A few squiggle lines in the middle. And I am leaving a bit of that yellow border around to give it a bit of a frame, although there are places where I am putting the elements right up to the edge of the paper. So whatever I feel like really hey now where did I want you I know you were going to be slightly cut off actually I need to glue down the stamps first and maybe I need to take a little bit more off so I can have a slight border of the yellow at the top and take a bit more off the top here Yes, there we go. Work out where we were going to pop her. 
so we can pop that about there can be quite a challenge to fit an A4 size bit of paper um, fill it with your collage if you've got a limited number of elements if there's no limit then you just keep filling it with bits and pieces until you like it but when you've got a limited number of things to pop in it can be a challenge that's why I liked the idea of a big image of a doll right pop you there So something that came in the mail, stamps. Right, so she can go about there. So let's trim off her dress and her sleeve. Yep, and I might use glow stick on here, I think. Even though she's quite large, it's quite thin paper. So I just think glow stick might be a better option. So I switch around, oops, and I just gouged out the glue. I switch which, which glue I'm using, just according to what I think is going to be, um, well, based on a number of facts effective so something that will hold whatever i'm gluing down at uh, speed you know what's going to be the quickest for what i'm doing and then over and above that it's what i can be bothered with sometimes it's like do i want the mess of the the glue stick or am i actually running low on the glue stick um or is my tacky glue clogged and I can't be bothered fighting with that? So, yeah, I just pick and choose. But mostly it's the first important thing is what's going to actually hold what I'm gluing down. That is the most important. And I forgot to glue down my little watch here. Can we lift her back up again? Okay, yep, we can just lift her up and slide this in behind her. It's just this is magazine page, so I'm going to use the glue stick. Oops. I didn't leave much room for it, but never mind. It's just a little bit peeking out from behind her head. And it just fills that gap as well. Oh, and I'm getting glue all up my arm. Right, our wee sweet putty cat. So do I want those on the edge of that picture or on the edge of the yellow? Or halfway between? I don't mind halfway between actually. So let's pop putty down. So tacky glue for this because it is photo paper and it's definitely can take quite a bit of wet glue. And it needs it to stop it curling because it's been sitting in a drawer, um, not in an envelope or anything, just a stack of photos sitting in my drawer in my bedside drawer. So it's got a definite curl on it already. So it's all helped flatten it out. Oops bit slippy slidey with the being photo paper uh, this magazine image that I've used for the big cat and the rock came from breathe I think which is why it had the beautiful watercolor of the books on the other side right. I think glue stick will be okay over top of the photo for this image Just off the 
rock photo but not quite all the way to the yellow paper just so we've still got that border happening there we go there's that and now our something cold there's our cocktail punch drink it's annoying me that the cutlery is sticking out the wrong side for the composition does it matter if we do it upside down probably not who's going to care but the amount of white is bugging me so i'm just going to take it down a little bit more It stands out like a sore thumb. And that bugs me. So. Doesn't need to be perfect. It just didn't like that much white. Fiddly. and then a little bit more around the asparagus yeah I'm getting picky aren't I I know but I've got to be happy or I don't got to I just want to be happy with it otherwise I feel like I haven't done it justice and it's collage is art so like you know I want to put a bit of effort into it and that means making sure I'm happy with it right that's definitely way better and I like actually how the cutlery sort of brings up into the dress it kind of helps bring it together let's try and use up this glue that I gouged out on the other element oh where's my card here we go that and now our cocktail and I'm happy with the the surrounds around here it's not actually white it's sort of a more creamy off-white almost gray in some respects um, but because it's not on the dark background it doesn't show up so badly oh oh gosh I'm making a real mess of this glue stick oh gross that's all over the front wipe some of that off before I try sticking it on because I don't want to spread it everywhere right there we go it's a bit of a plaster <laughs> I, I will admit that there's, there's quite a bit going on um but i don't mind it like i'm i'm happy enough with it um i haven't achieved kind of the story factor that i often try to achieve in the collages of the style but they don't always work depends on what prompts you're working with and where's my where's my wee safety guard for my scissors um but all in all i'm not dissatisfied with it so let's check we've got everything so toy or doll, so we've got the doll, sand or stone, so we've got this big bit of rock that the big cat's standing on. Something cold, we've got a salad and a punch drink. Clock or time, so we've got our two clocks, or a clock and a stopwatch, a pocket watch. We've got photo, pair of putty, and bonus, something that came in the mail, we've got our stamps off the envelope. So we've got everything. I'm just wondering about whether I want to add any washi tape. Let's have a look. Um, what?
what washi might work is another question. Um, got a lot of dark colours, a bit of orange, but there's a little bit of orange in the salad as well and in the stamps, or ready orange. Um, perhaps we want to go with just a graphic black and white. Let's have a wee look. Oops, this tape is brand new and it's bugging me because it's splitting when I'm trying to peel it off and it's not old so I've only experienced that before with old tapes and I'm a bit annoyed that I'm getting it with a new tape and the other ones of this brand I haven't had any problems with so I don't know so let's pop a bit down there feel like I need something up here and one more bit here or here let's go here just because There we go. That is week five done. So I haven't, still haven't sorted out a folder or ring binder or something to put these in. So at the moment they're just living in this plastic folder. So let's have a little refresh. Week one, week two, week three, week four. And now week five. And you see I'm using different sizes of papers, um, which I think is fun. So week six, you can see all the glue marks that's still drying. Week six we'll do on the back there. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, struggle through with that collage. I felt like it was a struggle at times, but we got there in the end. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you again in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.